right, let's begin by priming the face and I'm using my professional primer and then I'm just gonna apply this all over my face. Next I'm going in with my white eyeliner and then just starting to outline the shapes on the face. And this is pretty simple. I'm just going to outline my nose and also around my mouth. And I'm using my smile lines to help me create the look that I want to go for. And then just cleaning up after. Next I'm taking my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and I'm putting the darker shade in the outer perimeter of my face and then the lighter shade in the center of my face and then I'm just taking my Real Techniques Complexion Sponge and blending it out and I'm only focusing the foundation half way on my face like the first half of my face from like my nose up and then I'm taking my tar shape tape concealer and applying it underneath my eyes and also bring it into my eyelids to prime my eyelids with it and here I'm taking my Cover FX Translucent Powder and setting my face. And for under my eyes, I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and setting under my eyes and also my eyelids. So for the eyes, I'm using my NYX Primal Eyeshadows and I'm using the one in Hot Yellow. And I'm basically using two shades for this look, um, this shade and, another, and this other shade from the Urban Decay's palette. With the yellow shade i'm basically putting it all over my crease and just buffing it out and blending it out and then the urban decay on my eyelids now i'm taking my cc beauty palette and i'm using this to paint around my mouth and you just want this to be an all even layer and using your smile lines i keep smiling because like that gives me like the perfect like the lines and then i'm just moving on to some red and i'm using this to for the tip of my nose and then on top of it, I'm just using the pink one and I'm going to basically bring that all around my nose and all the way around the bottom of my face. So like here, I'm just bringing it around my mouth and then just blending it out towards my ear. You want most of the pigment to lay closer to the mouth and then as it fades out, you know, fade it out towards the ear. Also a great tip is using your finger like you guys see me doing here to blend it out and it'll be like way faster to do it with this tiny brush that I was doing. So you guys will see me like use my finger a lot. And here I'm just using a white, the white paint to kind of brighten that area up and make sure that everything is blended between the pink and my foundation. And it does look a lot blended and a lot more ombre like a kind of the transition state. And now I'm just setting all of the paint with pink eyeshadow and again I'm using the hot pink from the NYX Primal Eyeshadows and I'm just going over everything, even the white. First I'm focusing the eyeshadow closer to where I want the most pigment and then I'm just, whatever's left on my brush, I'm just going over the rest of it. I'm doing the same thing for the white. For the white I'm using my NYX Avium Pop palette and I'm using the white in that one and then I'm just setting that and I'm also using the red from the primal eyeshadows which is hot red here I'm just going in with an eyeliner pencil and marking my little points where my whiskers are going to be coming out from and then I'm taking some water activator paint and going over them to intensify them and make them better and I'm using a very small detail brush for this and now here I'm just creating my whiskers and for this brush I'm using a detail brush too but a long pointy one not more like a round one and you want the whiskers to be thicker in the beginning and then thinner towards the ear now I'm just taking a pink lipstick and I'm just doing my lips pink and then with the water activated pink in my palette I'm just going in and outlining my lips and I'm kind of making my mouth a little bit longer at the end going back to the eyes underneath i'm just going in with the yellow eyeshadow i'm putting that all underneath then i'm just applying some mascara oh and some eyeliner too all right and that's it for me i hope you guys enjoyed this pink panther inspired look and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys don't forget to subscribe yeah.